Hi, this segment is about installing uh, a Purist Energy SPS 2AC and attaching it to a tank. The SPS 2AC has an internal heat exchanger. It has dual pumps, a solar pump and a potable loop pump. When attaching it to a tank, it can be any kind of tank. We've seen people attach them to um, marathon tanks of a variety of sizes. They can be attached to A.O. Smith Conservationist or any tank that's available at a hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's that's available to you. That was part of our idea was that we wanted to make something that would be able to be used with any tank that would be available in any part of the country and readily, easily. No expensive tanks necessarily, no tanks that would have to be shipped from a long distance, no extraordinarily heavy tanks with a lot of coils or stone or anything else. So, how does it attach to all these tanks so easily? Well, we've done a series of experiments and determined that the easiest, the fastest, and roughly equivalent in terms of its heat exchange is to simply make a T at the drain port. Wherever the drain port is on the tank, take that drain valve off, put a T on there. One side of that T is going to be the drain. The other side of that T will go from the lower portion of the tank to the from storage uh, port on the side of our box. On the other end, to storage, you simply plumb your half inch copper, and there are unions on the side of the box to make it really, really simple. You simply plumb directly to the top of the tank and go into the cold dip tube. You make a T at the gold, cold tip dip tube, so you have cold water coming into the tank, it hits that T, you T into the purest box, and then into the tank. You can cut the dip tube if you'd like. Oftentimes we've found that pulling the dip tube out is difficult and it really doesn't make very much of a difference in terms of the overall heat exchange. So, as an end result, you're circulating via the port potable pump fluid at the bottom of the tank, heating it using the collector heat, and during the course of the day, the very beginning and middle of the day, the, the readings from the bottom of the tank will actually be slightly higher than the top of the tank. And you say, well, does that really help me? Well, it turns out that the circulation more or less keeps the temperature of the tank roughly equivalent during the course of the day. And then at night, when the bank, when the tank, uh, when the pump shut off, inversion occurs. The hottest water rises to the top of the tank, and then when you take your shower in the morning, the hottest water comes off of the tank. You end up getting the same efficiency that you would if you had much better uh, separation or very close to it. So. Um, hook it from the drain to the cold dip tube. It makes very easy installation using any tank that's available in the United States and you get a very high heat exchange because of the flat plate heat exchanger that's included inside of the box. Thanks.